Hi, and welcome back to Scry Worldwide Studios. We're back again. My name is Mike. I'm in product management for Insight, and I'm here to talk about some of the new features uh, that are coming out in Insight 7.9 uh, in just a couple of short weeks here. Um, one of the main new features is if you're used to using the console to build integration processes, you'll be familiar with this screen I have up. And you know, whether you knew it or not, when you made file time and query integration processes, we allocated a single threaded process to run all of those uh, processes, DTSs that those processes would run, and they'd run sequentially using a single process. Um, Q-based processes have always been multi-threaded and been able to run um, uh, across multiple uh, threads at a time to increase processing speed. So now what we've introduced in this version 7.9 is with file time and query uh, integration process. If you go over here, there's a new field where you have a drop down where you can choose what uh, processor group it's going towards. So by default, all these file time query integration processes will go through the serial processor group. But now you can choose to send them to what we just call the default processor group, which is the same uh, set of processors that the Q-based processes run through. So now you have the ability, if you've got a, a job that runs through your single threaded, you know, say it's a timed DTS that runs a lot of records overnight, but you still have other timed or query based processes that you want to run alongside of that. Previously, they would be blocked behind the long job. Now they can go into another set of uh, queues and wait for an available process. You know, so they will hopefully get processed a little sooner. They'll, they'll get queued up to run faster, uh, at least at a, earlier in time overnight. And you'll, you won't stop those more real time processes just to wait for this longer process that, that might take a bunch of time to run a query or whatever it's doing in the background. The queue-based processes still use the default queue, which again is the multi-processor queue. And with our standard new install, that, that's your only option. They're multi-threaded. We're adding a second feature that's related that is on the upper license levels. And you will have the ability to create multiple groups of the multi-threading uh, processes. So as I said, right out of the box, you can take these previously single-threaded processes and choose to keep them single-threaded or assign them to the multi-threaded uh, group of processors. Now you can also go into your properties on your integration server and if you have one of the enterprise or professional two license levels, you will able to add and edit processor groups. So now I can add a second processor group, defaulting to scribe one. I can assign it to processors. It's going to actually create a new set of queues to, to process uh, messages out of. I'll say OK. I'm going to have a, now I have a scribe one queue with three processors assigned. Your total assigned processors. Um, can only equal up to the amount that you're licensed for, which you can see above here. So now when I save that, when I go back to my integration processes and I go to create a new one, now I have the ability to assign file time and query listeners not only to the serial standard uh, queue, I can set it to my new scribe one processor group or the default processor group. And when I go to set up a queue-based process, I can choose from the multi-threaded processor groups that either the default one or the one I've configured. Uh, the result is still pretty much the same. So if you, if you have multiple multi-processor groups, you just now have a way to prioritize messages a little more in a little more fine-grained way. Right? Some of our publishers allow you to assign a priority to messages. Some do not. Obviously, file time and query DTSs do not, but this is a way to prioritize messages uh, in another way. It gives you another, another cut at being able to prioritize processes and messages to run so they can run um, at the same time and not be blocked by jobs that might take a little longer. So that's an intro to a couple of new features we're adding to 7.9. Uh, we'll be putting out another video or two uh, related to some other features that are going to come out, and uh, be on the lookout for 7.9. Thanks. Mm -hmm.